Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're back to Gunlock tonight. We've got a few more pilots to unlock, um, and then we've got some clears to do. Uh, so we know how to unlock all these, because they tell us, really. So we've got to unlock all the other pilots for this one, right? And then we've got this last one, the sixth one. Beat any zone with at least two electric weapons equipped. Okay, we can do that. Easy peasy. Um, whilst we're doing that, I suppose we could try to get a first clear with one of these, right? <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Hey, Game Over, how you doing? Good to see you. Uh, so let's, yeah, let's start with Artem Artemis? Artemis, yeah, okay. Um, let's see what we got here. Uh, increase the passive, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we can turn that one off, I think, since we're gonna get extra shields every repair we get. Um, let's turn on... Ooh, boy. A big fuck-off laser beam for that one. And I do like the supply depot as well, just random ass. Uh, oh, every minute and a half, you get a, you get a little tiny power-up. I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. Okay, let's go. Um, and then, I've been playing a little bit in between, so I did pass uh, first level with uh, trial score at 30, which is good. Let's try to beat level 2 with trial score at 30, because that unlocks Achievo and makes us feel good and all that, so let's go. Feeling festive with the season being a us and all. Hey, yeah, that's cool. I'm not much of a holiday f dude, but I can appreciate when people get into it. That's cool. That's cool. Like, absolutely get into it if you're into it, right? I mostly just like it because it's a... It's a good excuse to take off from work, honestly. And I need to burn some PTO, so... I've just got this week... Up through Friday, and then I am off for the rest of the year. Which is gonna be super awesome, because boy howdy... Do I always need a vacation at all times. Um, okay, what are we trying to do? Electric weapons, right? Electric weapons are important. Uh, I suppose we can lean into any electric-based um, utility ones as well. Also works. As long as we're getting powered up in the right direction, that's really the only, the only thing I care about at this point. Alright, there's an electric weapon, the electro line. I'm not really a big fan of the electro line in general. It's just not a a particularly good weapon. In my in my humblest of opinions. Even fully powered up, it's just kind of kinda of disappointing. But you know what? Whatever. We'll go with it. We'll go with it. Ouch. I just, I just want an electric weapon. Alright, whatever. We'll take a general recharge booster as well. That's cool. Been running overtime pretty much every day. Oh, wow. Uh, well, I guess, I mean, if it pays well and you, you can manage doing it, all the more power, but... Boy, howdy. Overtime doesn't sound fun. <laughs> I just did a... <coughs> a two-week stretch of overtime. Uh, not this week. Um, but the week before and then the week prior to that, it was not particularly fun. Didn't get paid anymore for it, so that's another strike against it, but... You know, so that's what they wanted us to do, so that's what I did. I was like, alright, alright man, I guess that's fine. But whatever. It's passed, it's done, and I'm, I'm cool. Everything's cool with it, so... Alright, uh, uh... Oh, gosh dang it. Alright, fine, whatever. Put our weapon desires on hold until we get the correct ones that we're looking for here. Uh, no, that's all force stuff. That's electric utility. <coughs> mm, excuse me. Oh, there's another electric utility. Okay, sure. It's for lock-ons and shit. I don't have any lock-on weapons, I don't think, so... I'm kinda curious why it gave me that one to... choose from. It's gotta start somewhere, right? Ow. Ow. Jeez. 
Okay, I was about to say, we were doing a pretty okay health wise, and then I just got bopped like three or four times in a row, so that's great. Oops, uh, what did I just take there? Oh, the beam. Okay. Well, that's fine. It's a side beam thing, so just gotta make sure our last weapon choice is an electric one, and then we'll be good to go, I think. I'm bad. <laughs> oh, I think I'm about to die. Very close to it. Ah, uh, okay. So electric utility at least, so we've got another another chance at this still. risk not getting a last electric weapon here. shit here. <clears throat> Alright, give me an electric weapon, please, dude. The rotating bits would be the best. Alright, shock bomb will work. So now we just gotta survive and, and win. We'll unlock the sixth pilot. Which is not gonna be easy, considering how low we are already. Best as we're able with our extremely anemic damage output here. But okay. repairs is going to be nice. Helps out a little bit. bits taken care of. Okay, there's his other little bits. <laughs> okay, I just gotta murder the big part and be done with it. Should be spawning less of the little missile firers now, at least.
looks like we're well on our way here. <coughs> Should end this fight out with more uh, health than we came in with. <coughs> so that's something. Ugh. focus on just upgrading what we need. Second shock bomb seems pretty good. Let's not have any other projectile multiplying things at our disposal here. So there are some pretty busted builds you can get. Like if you focus on projectile weapons and you can get just millions of bullets, well, maybe millions is overselling it, but a lot of bullets flying out. Fire weapons are a pretty good build as well. Some really gnarly stuff you can do. For now, we're restricting ourselves to electric weapons to unlock that last pilot. again. so long as we do. Ability timer in the lower right sometimes. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Oh boy. Got a lot of very low level weapons. I really know what the best one is to go for. Fuck. 
Oh man, that goes pear shaped so quickly. <laughs> Alright, that's okay. If we manage to get the um the lightning orbitals, then things will go a lot better. So that particular set of weapons we just had was not extremely conducive to survival. That's right. That's right, that's why runs are uh are quick to start and quick to finish. You can get a lot of attempts and I'm okay with that. Ah, there we go. <laughs> the ones we were looking for right out the gate. Excellent. These nice and beefy. Then we're good. Okay. Uh, let me see some good support of these. Or we just beef them up right away. That's cool too. Now we get the stun whenever things get hit with them. They take electric damage, so it counts for any utility things that we pick up that uh, proc off of electric damage, which is super cool. I think one of them we had last time, but we just couldn't do much with it. Ah, this one here. Uh, this is charges up. So when enemies take electric or fire damage, it's charged up, full triggers, a uh, power-up that makes all damage sources deal 150% damage for 3 seconds. That's super cool. Extremely good. So for three seconds while that meter in the lower right is running, <coughs> that's when it goes good. 150% <clears throat> damage, or up to 200% damage when we uh, fully upgrade it as well. Super awesome. We picked up a thing that does has a chance of setting shit on fire for electric damage as well, so we are really leaning into it. Got a good solid go of destroying asteroids and shit for even more gems, which is also cool. Uh, is that shock bomb there? Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> so now we've got our two electric weapons covered. I think there's also a Chivo for taking three electric weapons, so we're in good position to get that as well. well I wonder if there's any one, any other one besides the electro line thing we had. conduit as well, but um, we'll grab the crystal drone and hope we can see a third electric weapon at some point, even if it is just the electro line. Uh, beam weapon damage and all enemies in the area are burned, no. <clears throat> There's gotta be another electro booster here somewhere. Um, I mean, yeah, that's electric. I don't think we have any lock-on weapons, do we? Hmm, yeah. we'll grab it just in case. We do have to grab a lock-on weapon for our final one, that's fine. There's several of those that are really good, like the sentry orbital drone thing is pretty good.
no, here's the other ele other electric weapon. There we go. Okay, now we're clear. Although this is the one that leaves you vulnerable after it uh, <coughs> fully discharges, which is unfortunate, but yeah, got a deal. Upgrades. Got the invincibility for it. little bits there. Almost there. <clears throat> there we go. So they're in pretty good position health wise, too, about a hundo.
or disable. Time is pretty good. It's only by a small fraction of a second. Damage pulse and gains a force knockback at the end. Okay, sure. protect me against the little knockout blasts there. center taken care of here, please. Thank you. <laughs> oh, now that dude up there. I think that's the dude that got me before, right? I sat right in front of him and took my lumps. So let's not do that this time. We're better equipped to deal with it. Oh, careful. 
seem like we're in pretty good position for this one now. <coughs> well kitted out. any second now. There we go. Next round here. Bonk. There we go. Okay, final segment. Finally. Sure. Soon, right? There we go. <coughs> uh, three damage, twenty percent pulse speed, seconds duration, and less disable. All right, good.
Coco says he's gonna bring chili to work tomorrow. Ooh, tasty. Chili is fucking delicious. Takes a while to make, but it is quite good. Uh, let's go crystal upgrade then, I guess. I think we're pretty well kitted out here. If I fuck this up, it's on me. little bit so we can get to the actual <coughs> actual damage fun times here. Come on. There we go.
There we go. We did it. Finally. <laughs> Pretty good score, too. Good. So that was several Chivos at once, in fact. So we beat the second zone on 30 or higher trial score. Got the whole electric weapon thing going on. Oh, and there's another one. Equip six electric weapons and or utilities. Which we did. We had three electric weapons and three electric utilities. All right, cool, perfect. <coughs> All right. So that should give us the electro pilot here. Oh, it starts with the with the electro orbitals there. Uh, electrical energy and then his augment shock collar. Electrical energy pulses from enemies, tempest more damages. Anytime six unique enemies have been marked, the energy detonates, stunning them for half a second and dealing ten damage. Hmm, not bad. Okay. Um, let's see here. Let's throw on slag. <coughs> I do like power converter, but I feel like that might make it too easy. Uh, Supply Depot is always good to throw on, and Junk Drone actually I'm partial to as well. Um, I guess we did on... that's right. So a recent update unlocked all these pretty much from the get-go, as long as you beat the zones normally. Because normally, um, prior to that, it was locked behind the 30-plus uh, trial score and beat a zone, uh, which we just did. So, we're using this one now. Uh, trials we can just not mess with for now, and then we can try to do zone 3, I suppose. Okay, now we're not limited to really just to electric weapons. We can do whatever the f we want. Let's do Discharge. I do like Discharger. Uh, electric upgrades deal 10% more damage and stun enemies for 50... Okay, that was the other one I was looking for last time, too. Sick little electric upgrade. I think at this point we're not really shooting for anything in particular. <coughs> Maybe just the uh... Oh, I guess there's other there's one other pilot we need to do a complete on as well. But if we can knock out the complete on this guy right away, and then do that last one, then we'll unlock the seventh pilot. Let's see what that one's all about. We can lean electrical here too, but we might do a more general utility one. particularly like the um, little shock shield disables you at the end bit because it just leaves you vulnerable like that. So we'll pick up a different weapon. Maybe another orbital. Maybe the other, like the sentry drone orbital would be super sick. Ah, replicators, also the one I like too. 
multiplies any projectile you manage to get your paws on. So even these little bursts from the asteroids get more bits to fly forward. Which is super cool since they've got so much damage. good other bullet weapon here. Uh, let's look for a sentry drone, I guess. Or just get another projectile, that's fine too. First boss here soon. Yeah, so we're about 20 seconds out. How much damage that just did. Wild. Yeah, that is totally liquefied.
without the extra shield bit equipped. We're staying pretty close to full pretty much all the time now. Proving once again that best defense is a good offense. <laughs> now fully powered. Excellent. We only got two of the <laughs> two of the four weapons. <laughs> um, let's see, what would be good for this spread now? <coughs> Just keep bo boosting our utilities, I guess, while we've got the opportunity. Oh. 
Ice in here. There you go. <laughs> ah, we took a few hits there. That was kind of silly, but... Nothing we can't recover from. Probably before the last segment of the boss here. Twenty-three or twenty-four here. beefing up some of these orbital weapons. Pretty much shows in that we've only got two of our four weapons equipped. We're getting this far.
four. Pretty close, though. to be undone. with those forward guns. Easy peasy. First try. Okay. Um, oh, we still got one. Oh no, you don't have to do a clear with everybody. Just need to unlock everybody, I guess. Alright, let's see what we got. That is complete weapon loadout at the start. You only have, ever have those four options, huh? <coughs> Okay, cool. So we get a four weapon start regardless. We don't get a choice as to what they are, that's fine. Uh, get temporarily get 25% recharge reduction until you reach level three. Um, and you can choose one of three random augments from other pilots at the start, nice. Interesting, okay. Sure, sounds cool. Um, oh, I see. So I can pick any of the other ones to do our starter with, huh? I actually really like the hot streak one. Um, or no, does it um, pick for me? Do I not have a choice in the matter? One of three random augments from other pilots. Okay, yeah, alright, so. Never mind, we don't get a choice. So this is like true rando. Embrace the chaos. Um. But in the meantime, I'm going to want probably shields, <coughs> supply depot, and we'll go big fuck off beam. And then we'll go, uh, I guess it really doesn't matter, I just need to, to do a clear, right? Let's do a non, a non-trial clear on these, since we don't really have to push ourselves that hard. Okay, so we've got shock bombs. Uh, shock bombs, radar sweep thing, side beam, and light rail. Well, those are kind of garbo. <laughs> those kind of garbo, honestly. Um, and these of the random augments from other pilots, none of these are great either. <laughs> so we kind of got the short end this time. Uh, I guess we'll go with that one. Oh, but then we have to unlock each one. Oh, that's kind of terrifying, because our initial thing doesn't really do a lot of damage. <laughs> oh boy, okay, this could be a real bad start, then. 
Gotta make sure we, uh, nail these shots. So, oh, and our fuck off team, I guess. Oh, well. <laughs> Boy, what a poor, poor star starting set of stuff here. That kind of stinks. This is <coughs> really to our advantage to grab another one of those weapons. The shock bomb start is not super good. Sideline isn't really a good one either to start with. Ah, shit. Looks <laughs> like we're out of uh, out of options here. Okay. Crap. The scouting drone is gonna be kind of not super good either, really. Guaranteed offense. Passive damage, really. bad of all those. Oof. So keep our basics going here. that we got to deal with here. It'd probably behoove me to get my other basic weapons online as well, just to have some more output going. Thank you. 
kind of beam weapons do we have? I guess our big fuck off beam counts. Side rail thing and the thing we've yet to activate counts as well. So, yeah, alright, sure. Side beam. <coughs> Excuse me. A little side beam thing. Give that a go since we're really not under any sort of threat of death here. Good. Maybe it really <coughs> tears it up in the last few upgrades, though.
picking up our primary weapons is probably a good idea. going that one little tiny thing we're firing forward really isn't doing much. segment three, that's pretty good. Thank <laughs> you. 
their beam width <coughs> increasing. Ooh, dang. Alright, now that thing's looking proper beefy. What's that going to look like now? Hmm, not bad. Hmm. Okay, I don't know if it's... <coughs> ...worth all the upgrade levels we sunk into it, but it's pretty gnarly. to <coughs> final boss here. Are we gonna manage one more level up before then or not? Probably not. Considering. There we go. Okay. Uh, it really doesn't matter at this point. Oh, here we go. Easy. 
crazy. <laughs> Alright, I think that just leaves us with one more to complete, right? Yep. Okay, Ace is kind of fun if you don't want to think too much about selecting weapons and shit. <coughs> Uh, okay, I like all these except for this one. What was this one about? All invulnerable damage for any reason you upgrade times recharge 10% faster and kinetic upgrades recharge 20% faster. Interesting, but no. Um, where's like a real glass cannon type one? If you like me glass cannon. Eh, yeah, maybe force field. Okay, this really doesn't matter which one we clear at this point. That I know is endless, but we need an actual clear. So, uh, let's just do this one, I suppose. At least we get a, a not unreasonable forward firing weapon at the start. some, like, really bullet-heavy shenanigans here. Recharge time. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not go for many of the um, elemental damage, either the fire or the lightning type stuff? Let's go for straight up bullets. Projectiles, yeah? Okay, yeah. Those I kind of like once you get them powered up. so we don't have to get quite so close to shit. I think there's a good synergy with the <coughs> ley mines later on, too. So we get both of them fully powered up.
force effects. I guess ley mines have the force effect on it? Yeah, not too much else. Oh, I guess the force field does count too. Mm -hmm. see the sentry drones as well. get the um, sentry drone will go for back blast or back burner or whatever the fuck it's called. Whatever shoots bullets out my butt. That's the one we're gonna try to go for. get uh, sentry drone plus that would be good, but won't lean into it until we have it. Uh, we've only got the one drone. Mm, damn. Okay. Well, this charger's good too, because that's projectile based. Yeah, look at that. <laughs>
for a bit. Uh, okay, well now we can just load up on everything.
Lee Mines laxed, maxed out there. <coughs> Let's work on the rest of our little Magneto thing. choice there. right up in his grill and I didn't pay attention to how much invincibility I had left. Whoops. Well, alright. I think we'll call it an early night. <coughs> Did pretty much what we set out to do. Got just about all the... <coughs> all the pilots cleared. Um, yeah. Okay, we'll call it there. Alright, so next stream is Wednesday night. 7 p.m. CST. Uh, we'll see, maybe if we just dedicate that night to uh, the endless runs here with Gunlocks. Or we might decide to do a different game. Who knows? It'll all come down to how I'm feeling that night, pretty much. Um, then Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. CST, be Shmup Book Club. Some more Hyper Duel or Kaikon or any of the five uh, fifth year anniversary SBC games, which is uh, Axley, Gate of Thunder, Zero Ranger. Escaluda, and I don't remember what the fifth one is. Gigawing. Gigawing, that's it. So quite a, quite a spread that we've got available to play for the next four months of SBCs. Um, should be a good time. And then uh, <coughs> next weekend is all holiday stuff, so no stream. Everybody enjoy your time. Um, take some time off. Hydrate, have fun, chill out, do whatever you need to do for holiday stuff. Because um, I know I will. I know I will. All right, that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.